back to my YouTube channel. I am Rabiana, and today I have this very pretty, full voluminous flexi rod set. This wig unit was sent over from Wiggins Hair. Thank you guys so much for sending over this wig. So you guys know I always review for Wiggins Hair. I love them. I love them on the back end. They're super easy to work with. And also, they just offer those very full density wig units that I love. You guys know I love big hair and I love my hair to be full. So they offer 250% densities and all the way up to the 300s as well, you guys. So also, if you guys are into long, longer hair, they also, oh my God, also offer the longer lengths as well. So you guys should definitely check them out. Now, as for the wig that I received today... I have a 30 inch straight texture wig unit and she's in 300% density you guys which is a lot I don't know I think this is my second or third time reviewing that full of a density wig and also this is a 13 by 4 lace frontal if I'm not mistaken so I'll leave all those specs down below in the description box for you guys but I am basically just going to be doing a flexi rod set for you guys but before we get into that i do want to talk to you guys about like this lace frontal immaculate like you guys it's so good i was actually looking at a hair video that i did for wiggins like back in 2020 and you guys the amount of upgrading that they have done to their lace frontals oh my god like the transformation is so good like the wigs these days are so good you guys it also does not have a smell either so again wiggins 10 out of 10 i love working with them they have really good wigs you guys i'm so serious that's why you guys still see me working with them i've been working with them for a very 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 long time and they have definitely been consistent with their wig units so i love that um, so basically, as you guys can see, I use my adhesive spray only to apply this wig unit. Um, I didn't really plan on keeping the wig on that long. So that's just the reason why I didn't, um, use my ghost bond glue. However, any of the products that you guys see in my hair videos, you guys can always find them in my Amazon storefront. And that link is down in the description box as well. So I just love how natural this wig looks. And I wish I would have done it like completely straight for you guys, but I don't know. I just wanted to do a flexi rod set. I was in the mood for one and I'm never really in the mood to do flexi rod sets, you guys, because it can be a little longer of a process, but I just wanted to do an updated one. So we're doing one today. I'm doing a deep side part, you guys. And I just think that this lace just looks beautiful. This hairline looks beautiful, you guys. And I did do some light plucking to my baby hairs because I really do like the fluffy baby hair look. Y'all know me. You know, sometimes I come with no baby hairs, but I just love the whole fluffy baby hairs look. So get into it. <laughs> so I'm just going to take my time and do that. A lot of this is sped up. And then I'm going to come back and talk to you guys about the flexi rod process. rod set so i'm actually going to put all of my flexi rod sets in a playlist um because i've done quite a few of them so i'll leave that down in my description box however for all of my flexi rod sets i do take a wand curler and wand curl the ends it's just super easy for me to lay the hair down on the flexi rod this way um i don't really have like a lot of flyaways with it so that's why i do that you guys i don't know maybe you could skip the step i don't know do what you like <laughs> however when i do the um flexi rods i lay my hair on flat there's different techniques that you could do depending on what kind of style you want however i do have a 30 inch wig you guys so i did want to keep the length however if you want something shorter or like a little bit more poofier um you can definitely spiral your hair or 
twist your hair onto these flexi rods and a spiral curl will come out so that wasn't the look i was going for i wanted something a little bit more lax but of course voluminous so as you guys can see i'm laying the hair flat onto the flexi rods and also i make sure that i have the curls going back because i just wanted that look so also i don't know if you guys noticed but i did come on camera with my hair washed and air dried um of course it came pressed out silky smooth super straight sleek you guys of course um however because i knew that i wanted to do a flexi rod set um i had to have some tension to this hair like the hair was literally slipping out of my hand so i couldn't like do a flexi rod set like that I don't know if you guys know this as well, but I'm using mousse and this is my very first time using mousse. Um, it was recommended throughout like my flexi rod set videos. So that's why I'm trying to actually really like it. And I think that it actually held the curl quicker because I did test one like an hour or two and I had like a perfect curl, you guys. So maybe you guys don't have to use the heat if you don't want to you could just use the mousse but the mousse dries faster you guys so definitely recommend you guys use the mousse it definitely helped me out so um i'm just taking out these flexi rods you guys and i just i'm a little like overjoyed a bit because this is a 30 inch wig unit and it actually curled because I feel like I did this a few years back on a very long wig, like 30 inches, and it was like an epic fail. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I did like a different technique with this one. I definitely used the mousse. I know that's something. This, this is my very first time using mousse on the flexi rods. So maybe that was that. But I don't know. So I am just going to finger comb my hair through you guys i don't know where my wide tooth comb is i've been talking about this wide tooth comb for a couple of videos so i'm just going to take my fingers and then i'm going to comb through and then style my hair so of course you guys know i have to do the finishes with my holding sprays and things of that such to make it just a little bit more voluminous however i do want to let you guys know that the hair did last me for a couple of days like two or three days but you know i had to like start combing through it and stuff like that and also with the spray build up it definitely lasted you guys i used holding spray so yeah that's it that's all that's all that i have for you guys again if you guys are looking for a very high quality wig units um with very full densities and long lengths highly recommend wiggins hair i've been working with them for a very long time you guys and they have beautiful wigs so also really good lace so that's it that's all that i have for you guys let me know what you guys think about this flexi rod set and i'll see you guys in my next video